Hi, Dave Barlow here. I want to talk to you about pickups today. Um, there's different types of pickups in the marketplace. Most of them are really expensive. Problem is, you've got a guitar. It's a cool guitar. You love the guitar, right? But for some reason, there's something quite not right. Most guitarists, if they want to kind of upgrade their guitar, it's usually pickups, usually these. Uh, yeah, it could be a bridge, it could be nut, you know, that stuff. But generally, it's pickups. There are different pickups that you can buy. Um, you know, the Alnico 2s, 5s, 4s, and high output pickups, low output pickups, covered pickups, uncovered pickups. There's loads of stuff. I can go on and on and on and on and on for hours and hours and hours about which one's good and which one isn't, whatever, whatever, right? But the thing is, the problem that we have is that if we buy a well known named brand pickup, okay, um, you're usually going to be, there's usually going to be not change out of 200 quid. Uh, or, or it can be more expensive than that. But the problem is, you buy this 200 pound set of pickups, you put them in the guitar, and the guitar doesn't sound any better than it did when you started. And then you have to just justify yourself that it does sound good, after all, because <laughs> the amount of money you paid for it. Oh, come on, I've been there, and, and, and I don't want you guys to go there. So, thing is, there's a way out of this, right? And the way out of this is to is to buy cheaper pickups, right? And try them out to see which ones work for you. I mean, there's loads of other ways of doing it, but I'm just trying to I'm just telling you out of my experience is what I did, and this is how I did it. But at the same time, I fell into uh, a company which sells pickups, which are really really good. I mean, there are some very surprising pickups out there that are very very good that you'll look at the name and you'll go, I've never heard of them, or or that's a rubbish name, or don't they make you know plastic teacups or something, I don't know, but whatever, right, I'm going to show you um, where you can get these pickups, and the thing is, um, so for example, you, you, you buy, you want to buy a pickup uh, to, te to test test your guitar out, you can you can buy, you know, maybe a, a low output pickup, a high output pickup, or or one with uh, Alnico, Alnico 2s, one with Alnico 5, whatever, and try it out, and they're good quality pickups, these are good quality pickups, and nickel backs on them, all that kind of stuff, you know, anything that you, every, the what, the same, it's the same wire, it's the same backing, it's the same bobbins, it's, everything's the same, it's just made by somebody that doesn't have a big manufacturing name, I mean, chances are, again, I've, I've said this about strings, chances are that many pickups are, are made in the same factory, it's just, they just engrave a different name on the back. But anyway, let me show you where you can get some really good quality, uh, low price pickups. Um, guaranteed I won't let you down. Guaranteed I won't let you down. And I'll show you where these are. And we've been to this website before, but um, but because they're consistently good, but I'm gonna show you that right now. Watch out for the screen. Okay, so this is where you can uh, get some um, pretty good quality pickups for a very low cost very low cost indeed so you can try out you know the different pickup um, sounds for your guitar because like I said before you don't want to spend out loads of money and find out the pickups aren't that good or don't suit your sound or whatever so uh, iron gear okay so you've you may have seen another video about this company called um, Axtec they actually do the iron gear pickups this is just another site that they have running but basically it's all on this site here uh, aztec.co.uk I'll put a link in the bottom of the video but uh, uh, you know I keep picking on these guys but the reason why I use these guys a lot for, for a lot of things is because number one they don't pay me for putting this in the video in fact they don't even know about it probably number two is they just consistently good quality products for a low cost that's the only reason so in pickups um, that I've tried um, are the first pickups I've tried are the um, where are they? Blues Engine. I use these a lot. These are low output pickups. I use this one, this one here. Uh, Blues Engine. I use both the bridge and the neck. Sixty nine ninety five for a bridge and the neck. I've probably got the Blues Engine in all of my guitars apart from two. Uh, one of which has got some guitars from an old um, um, pickups from an old uh, what is it um, Eddie Van Halen guitar. Uh, they're really high output. It's the only high output pickups I've got, so I've kept them. Uh, the other pickups I've got in, in a V is um, is some Seymour Duncan's. So I kind of like the Seymour Duncan's, which are uh, um, which are a low output ones, which are their kind of blues kind of bluesy pickups. And I've got these Blues Engines, which I like both both 
both sets. They're both good. Um, there's not a lot in in the two. One slightly different from the other, but they're both really good. In fact, quality-wise, these are as good a quality as the Seymour Duncans that I've got in my mind. And that's like sound, feel, how they work. Another another thing is how they feed back. You know, some some cheap pickups. You know, they've been potted, so they don't feed back. But they they don't feed back properly. You don't you can't control it in the way you can a good set of pickups. With these, you can. And it's kind of an indication indicator for me, you know, when you got that little bit of feedback coming and you control every part of it, that it seems to be a good pickup. So I've tried the Blues Engines, they're pretty good. Um, the Dirty Talk I haven't tried, uh, I've not tried them, but a lot of people go in for these, a lot of people buy these and they're really, really happy with them. Not tried it, so I don't know. Hammerhead, not tried. Hot Slag, I have tried, I've got the, I have, I've got, I don't use them anymore, but I did use them a couple of years back. In a couple of guitars, and I was doing some heavier stuff, and they are brilliant. I and mean, if you if you if you just take a normal pickup out and put a hot slag in, uh, and like you just plug it into your amp, it's just it's like a different. It's like you're in a different room, let alone a different. It's a different guitar. It's like having a different amp. It just breathes so much life into your guitar. It's unbelievable. Loads of bottom end, loads of top end. It doesn't scoop out the mids, but it just gives you that kind of metal kind of sound that. Um, that still cuts through, which is really good. So, which so you know, a lot of pickups just get all mushy uh, when they're high output. But they're high hot slags. They're they're high output. Um, rolling mill low output. I generally go for low output ones. Um, uh, these are great. Uh, they say exactly what they say on tin. Basically, whatever you read here is what they what they pretty much do. Uh, they're they're pretty good. Um, what else? Tesla Shark. Um, this is an amazing pickup. If you got um, if you got a Les Paul, but you want to sound like a certain person. That plays that that, that that plays a guitar in a very <laughs> in a in, in a in a band that's like super super famous and like it says here Aviator Shades and Top Hat we can't say who he is but you know who I mean yes you your guitar will sound exactly like him you not might not be able to play exactly like him but you will sound exactly like him. these pickups are like on the money for that sounds unbelievable but anyway. So all these different pickups you got, and all these different combinations, all these different things you do, you notice that some have got Alnico 5, some have got Alnico 2. The biggest difference in one in, in one pickup to another is number one, its output, and number two, what kind of magnet it's using. An Alnico 2 will sound completely different to an Alnico 5, but I'm not here to tell you which one's better. I'm just here to tell you that for a very small amount of money, I mean like 34 pounds for a pickup or 68 pounds for a set, compared with um, some of the bigger brands. I mean, you you can afford to try out two or three sets to see what's right for you, and they are good quality. End of argument. Um, I'll let you uh, work out the rest for yourself. Two hundred pound guitar, thirty-five quid pickup. Uh, which position? <laughs> Uh, neck position. Uh, this is the blues pickup. Yeah, good sound. Hello. <laughs> so, pickups. There you go. Um, not saying you shouldn't go out and buy expensive ones. Nothing wrong with doing that. Um, it's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Uh, uh, also, uh, obviously, my take on it is that you can also go out and buy out some um, ex inexpensive uh, pickups, which sound just as good. You know, cheap pickups, expensive pickups. Uh, you make your mind up. Catch you later. <laughs>